So, today I'm going to be drawing this. Kind of. This is a little costume that, um, while I was visiting some family, I found some really cool, um, art supplies, and I just really, 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 really want to, um, use it to make something. So, I really, really want to use this, and, um, sorry if the audio is not very good, uh, anyway, this is what I'm going off of. I like the mushrooms, and I like the color, I'm just going to make something kind of like this. Something that's practical, modest, something that will be fun to wear, you know, something that will just look good. This would probably be for the hem. Oh, can't see the hem. For the hem. Or for... And for, like, the waist and stuff. Not for the blouse, but maybe once again for this. Second... Anyway, maybe I can bring this over a little bit. There, now you can see the full page. Oops. <laughs> That's just some art I did for some friends. Um, anyway, but these are my little mushroom people. They're so cute. I might do a video of me making a 3D version of them. Because I've already made um, quite a few. Um, one for a friend. One for a friend looked like this one. Um, and I'm going to make another one for another friend. That looks like this one. or Or this one. Either one. Um, I say we don't waste this paper and we use it to kind of start the sketch. So, um... Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this, but I also have... Is it videoing? I think it's videoing. Yes, it is. Okay. So, I have this blouse. I'm not going to make the pants. Um, but I do want to use the pattern for the shirt. But instead of it being blue or some multicolored, it's just going to be completely white. I think that would look pretty. And um, paired with like uh, what the rest of what I want, I think it would look nice. So, I'm just going to put my art supplies back right there. But, um, okay, with that in mind, actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this out for reference. I do want a video, like, the process of making this costume, so hopefully I can do that. Um, and, and let's get started. Just gonna box these guys off. And my pencil's not sharpened. Okay, I'm back! And I sharpened two pencils. Yay. They're little hockey pencils that I got for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, um, but the erasers are way too heavy. So, let's just box this little guy off, along with his flower. And, uh, let's, let's just sketch out what we want it to look like. Probably don't have to sketch out the face, but I'm just gonna do a rough design. okay those I just wasn't sure about it it doesn't really show off what I want um one thing waffles did say that does stick is like she likes drawing her characters really small to begin with okay so a little really really quick thing I want to say I was watching waffles earlier really good videos go see her YouTube channel you'll understand what I'm talking about back to the video character design is this too small that might be too small seeing how I draw heads kind of big that, that looks like a good size, right? Okay.
So anatomy is really interesting. I don't ever plan on being a doctor, mostly for the fact that I don't like their hours, and um, I, I'm not a big fan of biology. Um, but I, I think it's interesting how all the muscles and everything connects. And just kind of how, like, so there's these shoulder bones that just kind of, they're like, they're the collarbone? Anyway. And then, like, some muscles in your neck, I believe, connect to those. And it just kind of... It gives your neck the thickness that it has, and it also, like, I guess connects your head, kind of, besides the, um... Anyway, there is your little lesson of the day. Make sure to double-check that to make sure it was correct, because I might not be correct. But that's just kind of how, when I look at anatomy, that's kind of what I see. So, it helps me explain the thickness of the neck. And how the shoulders look, because the shoulders, well, the top will always kind of come down. So if your shoulders are really hunched up, there's going to be like these lines here. And I drew too hard. But you get the idea. Anatomy is cool. If you want to draw something a little more realistic, it's probably best to look at some anatomy. Well, since I want like kind of a majestical vibe with this, I might try and do a more loose pose. At the moment, it looks kind of stiff. So maybe... Lower the shoulders down. That might be too low. I don't know. How low can shoulders go? That also might be too wide. The point. No, it looks kind of... So I know that guys kind of have broader shoulders usually. So... I have, I'm pretty sure I have some kind of broad shoulders for a girl. I don't know. Um, Don't ask me about my appearance. I will not be accurate about it. Anyway, so since the shoulder joints like right there it's kind of a straight line. Yeah, it like seems like it's just like an entire slope down, but then you notice that like kind of the back muscles pop up. I don't know if it's just I don't know. Hmm. Go talk to your anatomy teacher or something like that. I don't know. I'm trying to teach anatomy and I don't know it. I don't know it well enough anyway. So, I hope this is all catching because I'm talking kind of light and just like face down from the camera, from the, my phone. So, you know, might not all be catching. I don't know, let's just do like something weird with our arms here and just go like princess vibes. Something kind of... Oh, that shoulder, that, that shoulder's way too low, or way too in. There we go. So something interesting with, like, your arm and stuff is that, like, right here, it is kind of, like, th this part of your arm, it's just kind of, it slopes. <laughs> so... And I only started noticing this when I was looking for poses on Pinterest. Um, those little animate poses that you can get. And I noticed how, like, over-exaggerated the arms were. Just, like. But I liked how it looked, so, you know. Um, sometimes a little over-exaggeration helps with um, showing the emotion of your character. Like, I believe with, like, Disney villains, there's a bunch of, like, and I'm pretty sure I heard this from 
Mayu, and she's a cool artist too. I don't watch her as much anymore, but um, she's really cool. And I think um, I think it really um, her. I'm pretty sure like her job is YouTube, so you know, go check her out. See if you like her. If you don't, then no harm done. Um. So it kind of surprised me when I found out that I was drawing heads way too big for the bodies. And that, like, the heads aren't as big as it, I originally thought. And, and then I looked at real life and I realized if people had really big heads, it'd be weird. Anyway. So. And now she looks like a zombie or something. We'll, we'll fix that. We'll, we'll fix it. I don't think I drew her small enough. Contrary to what I was trying to do. Oh yes, also, um, the legs kind of do the same thing. I saw a drawing video where they were like, okay, or no, it wasn't a drawing video, it was a drawing magazine that I still have. And it basically showed you to draw, like, a ball, and then just, like, lines going down from that. So I've, I've kind of just skipped that part and just made it pointy. Kind of like the arms. And it, it looks kind of realistic, I think. Yeah, now she definitely looks like a zombie or something. Not what I was going for, but, um... Why am I getting your tiptoes? Feet. Um, not my strong suit. I'm pretty sure nobody's strong suit is... Well, maybe there's someone out there. But for me, it's definitely not hands or feet. I just draw like a little block to stand in for where the feet are because I'm usually going to draw on shoes and you know, shoes are kind of blocky. Not the blockiest of things, but they're blocky enough. This just kind of shows where everything is. And now we've got our character who I guess kind of stands in as my uh, model for... My outfit that I'm going to get her? I don't know. Anyway, just gonna gently erase some of that. Bring in the neck a bit more. For some reason, this hand and arm seem to be behind her. It, I'm fine with it. I don't really care. Um, okay. So, now we're going to take the shirt. And we're going to... Yeah, so this is the pattern I'm going to go going to be using with a friend. Who's going to help me. So, um, it's got low seams, and the hem is not as high up as I thought it was. I really like this collar, mostly because it doesn't look too tight, but at the same time, it is, um, it just reminds me of, like, those traditional, um, Chinese um, shirts, blouses, that the women wear. I'm basically just redrawing this. Um, I also like how it's kind of loose. It doesn't look like it, um, she's tucked it in, so it's kind of baggy, even, so. And the fact is, I'll probably make it a size bigger than me. So, yeah, we got this. Then I also have a corset that I have from, like, last Halloween's costume, which was cool. And it just kind of goes like this. So, the outfit itself might be a bit baggy up here instead. 
I don't know. Let's just erase most of this. I might see if I can adjust the corset or something. Anyway. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not sure if I want to do the corset. It seems kind of fantasy, but also at the same time, it's just kind of like... Would a mushroom lady girl have a corset? Probably, possibly, maybe not above her clothes. Because that's not exactly what corsets are meant for. If I remember correctly. Not the best historian here. Or biologist. Anyway. Not very good at wrinkles on clothes, but we'll just uh, move on. Oh wait, we have to do the sleeves. I like how these just kind of gather at the at the bottom. I think I kind of draw the drew the um, wrinkles for me. That's cool. Now I know what the wrinkles should look like. That just brings it to life a bit. <clears throat> okay. Um I found it was kind of hard to like remember what I was thinking when I drew it when I was doing voiceovers so uh, I decided I wanted to just kind of do something like this okay then there's going to be a something just kind of uh, elastic here or something like that that um don't mind the background noise, by the way. Um, and then a skirt. And I'm not sure if I wanted to, like, cover the feet. It might. It might just cover the feet. Like, barely having reached the ground. And the reason I want to do this is because if you've seen um, Encanto, you've seen, like, their style of outfits. And I just liked how the girls were dancing around and... How, like, you'd see, like, layers and layers and layers of the skirt. So, I guess I kind of want to do a layered skirt. But I just think that would look pretty. Just the way it would hang about. And now we look at it and decide what we don't like. Oh, wait, I forgot. So there'd be the trim. Mushroom hat. I don't think I liked having a corset on it. Also mushroom hat, I was thinking kind of like those Chinese hats that the little kids wear when they're doing the nutcracker. Probably be something kind of like that. In fact, I might even get uh, one of those little Chinese hats to cover to make it I'm not even sure if I'm planning on making it a spotted mushroom it might just be a normal little red mushroom I'm not sure if that's normal but I, I drew one on this page this little guy yeah you can see it this little guy or it's just solid red and I kind of like that I don't think it needs all the spots and stuff Anyway, so just kind of like the little mushroom pattern here on like the blouse. Oh, that's my dog protecting us in the background. From the cats and the squirrels. And just kind of like maybe the ribbon for this part. Um, I, don't know. 
I'm gonna draw the ribbon design uh, real quick. Just kind of like solid mushrooms. Like this really long one, and there's some. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, ran out of video time. Anyway, um, so yeah, you got like little mushroom guys, little mushroom pattern here, and then the red. Just gonna see if I can figure out the color. It's not ruby red. I know these colors aren't exactly the most accurate. Maybe it's a raspberry red? Um, let's move this over and we can just swatch the colors on here. Nope. I don't think I'm going to use the raspberry. At least I highly doubt it. Not the wine red either. Just trying to find the closest combination of, I guess, a red and a brown. Really, it's kind of a, it's got kind of a purplish, pinkish red tint. I don't know. Probably wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's burgundy. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, ran out of space again. Um, but I think, okay, I gotta try burgundy real quick. Um. Wait. Like this. I don't know. Give me a second. You know what? It might be closer to the wine red that I used a minute ago. That was the wine red, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. That's closer. Um I wonder if I can layer over it with some kind of purple. Because I feel like it's purplish. Purpley. I feel like it's got a lot of purple. <laughs> oh. By the way, these are my new Artez markers. I'm happy with them. I like them. They're pretty. I wish they had a brush tip, but that's about it. Oh, that might be too, too dark. Yeah, that's too dark. Wait, is it? Yeah, that's too dark. How about, how about we try it with a lilac? So, wine red. And then lilac. Oh, so what, you can't tell. If you just layer over it, it just kind of starts looking like lilac. Hmm. I wonder if I can layer over it one more time with a wine red. That kind of looks like what I was going for, I think. It definitely seems a bit darker. How about we just say, uh, well, let's just go with wine red as that and use that as our stand-in. Because I don't think I have the exact color. Um, wait, maybe it says. I don't think it says. Oh, cool. It shows you how to make a, um, a bow. Maybe I can use that later. So... Use the nib. Color that in. Might need to get a microphone or something. But at the moment, I'm not sure I can do that. Oh. I like how the mushrooms are portrayed on here. It's just kind of like 
outlines of them. Just enough that you get the idea. So I recently saw Encanto and I really like the skirts and their kind of outfits. Um, so that's kind of inspiring why I want the skirt to be like layered. Um, I'd have to ask my friend who is an, a seamstress, um, she's more of a parent's friend. Um, but she's really sweet and she's been a seamstress for as long as I've known her. And she'll probably know whether a layered skirt would be best. Just gonna like face there. We are mushroom hat, which probably should be like the same color as the ribbon. I don't think I want a different color, so it just wouldn't probably make sense. Hard to use this bullet nib. I think it's called a bullet nib, right? The thick one. Something right here. And like right here. Oh, one second. Okay, and um. That's kind of where I want that. So like maybe the ribbon, the waistband, and then the hem. Is that enough red? Do I need to bring more red in? I'm kind of wondering if like a shawl would look nice or if at this point it would be too much. It might not. And it'd be like a tinier skirt. I don't know how I feel about a shawl. I like it. Hmm. I think it be, could be cool. Kind of add some more red, break up the white. I want the skirt to be red, so... Well, I want it to be like this red. This might be too... Like, I don't know, maybe if I just like layer over this bit. Real quick. Did this make this darker? I might and just Something kind of like that. But, you know, kind of more of this color, which is a little more purpley. So, kind of darker. So, maybe having a shawl would be too much red. I don't know. I think I'd have to draw two. Yeah, keep in mind that this is bleeding through. <laughs> so... It's not bleeding through that bad, though. Walk out the hands and stuff. Just kind of hair. 
since my hair is long. Guess this kind of represents me. Um, I like the skirt. I like the hat. I think those tie in pretty well. I'm not sure if I want a shawl. Maybe at this point, little knickknacks are kind of what need to pull it together. So, I recently watched a video, and it was another With Waffles um, video. And she said that they had, like, little pockets. And she was just, like, designing an outfit that she would want to wear. But I think that's kind of clever. Just kind of, like, have, like, a little pocket. She said she learned to sew just so she could add pockets, which I totally get. So maybe just have, like, a little pocket here. But this could be like a different color, like um, more of a brownish color. I think that looks cool. So, we've got, like, a little pocket. Now we need, like, more brown accents, because I guess this kind of works for, like, my hair color. Ah, uh, well, it's a little darker. Um, okay, sorry about that little interruption there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, more brown. How can we add more brown? Maybe the waistband could be covered by like a little belt that would also be a part of the little sat satula. Sat the little bag here. I could add an apron, but I don't know how I feel about that. The apron could also have pockets, and it could add more white other than the blouse. I guess I kind of have to decide what kind of like mushroom lighting I'm trying to make. Is this mushroom lady gathering strawberries for the little mushroom people? And blueberries or something? I guess she could. I'd also like to maybe design some earrings, but since my ears aren't pierced, um, we could always do like, um, kind of like personal clip-ons. The one thing that's always bugging me about clip-ons is how, um, pokey they are. Which kind of like you don't want it to be pokey. So I so let's just like draw a little model ear that kind of stands for the ears that do not exist on this drawing. Um I think that's what an ear looks like. But anyway, um, saw a video, or not a video, it was something on Pinterest. I always say video. Um, I saw something on Pinterest that was kind of like, there's this part right here, and it kind of had like the names for what all these parts are. But basically, um, we could take some like bendy wire. One problem is like attaching it, but we can always make like a little loop that just slides on. So even if it falls off, it slides on. And then that can attach to like a little chain. So this there's this girl in my class, one or used to be in one of my classes, and she had these beautiful. Oh, one second. Anyway, sorry about that. So. Basically, I don't think you like a chain. She had more like a string attached. Anyway, and I liked her ear earrings, and so 
when necessarily I'm going to copy them, but I'm kind of going to copy them. Even if only slightly. They were inspiring. Anyway. So just like something, a little loop with some string tied to it. And I believe like it could connect a second time. I had like the little, a little mushroom. And then there was like the normal earring. So like if we go from that, it should look something like maybe this, or is that too low? Maybe a double string, just like add something to it. And then like right here, another mushroom so something I don't know kind of like that I'm not sure if I'm the um, not sure if I'm very good at jewelry design I'm trying but how does that look um, basically just like the wiring just kind of wraps around it I think for this one, that would probably be pinching. Same for this one. Could always maybe find something to wrap around, like the point part, because you know it's gonna be like pokey, because it's wires, so made. Um, so probably find something softer, wrap around that end. Because I do not plan on piercing my ears. So there's the little mushrooms, um, earrings. Could always just like have. I could probably look at some better reference photos than what I have in my brain and figure that out later. That's just a thought. One reason I want to make this is, um, on Discord, I was talking with some friends, and we were just talking about, like, how we wanted to have, like, a little fantasy picnic, and all dress up and stuff, and I guess I've maybe taken them a bit too serious, and they might not actually be doing it, but, um, I want to make one just in case. <laughs> called an establishing sketch or something like that I don't know I'm not sure but anyway I'm just gonna draw like her from like the shoulders the head kind of as if she's looking over her shoulders I want to try this one with the blouse. Or, no, no. <laughs> of course, with the blouse. I meant the shawl. 
shawl. Do I want it pointed? Do I want it round? I got this little guy right here, and um, maybe if we go back to this one. Would, would this make more sense? make more sense round. I feel like I like it pointed better. But then you gotta decide what kind of should I do it pointed? Or should I do it round? It's also the question if I'm am I going to sew it or crochet it? I feel like it would um, mix up the things better if I crochet it. And I do know how to crochet, just so you know. So, um, just have to find the right material. I kind of like it rounded off at the top and kind of pointed, but I don't know. And then kind of like, I guess there'd be like buttons. I feel like it would make more sense if it was crocheted, and I don't know why, I just think, like, with all the fabrics, they're just kind of already put together and aren't as, um, like the, okay, I'm going to show you my hat that I made, my little hat here, got a little flower. But, like, with this hat, you can kind of see all the stitches are very big, and it's it's kind of bumpy feeling. It's got a different texture than um, my shirt. My shirt's just kind of flat and out there, and this is a little more bumpy and textured. So just kind of layering over it, I feel like that would add some texture. So, I think we just add, like, the shawl to this one. That would kind of take away this part. We'll just leave a little cross.
show how the shawl is attached on. So now that I have a Mary Poppins pen that looks a lot like her umbrella, I'd like to just uh, tell y'all, tell all y'all, <laughs> or ask y'all anyway. Please like, subscribe, comment down below on any little tips or anything that you think might help me with uh, my costume. Uh, I was this was so much fun. Got a little more space. Might just doodle some more about it off camera. And, um, or maybe we'll use this as for supplies. If you got any supplies you think might I might need or might help, any tips, suggestions, please comment. Tell me all about it. And... I will be sure to figure out how I can check my comment section because I'm still not sure about that, but um, this is my little supplies box now. box now. We got what? I got what I need, kind of, so... Anyway, Happy New Year's. I hope you've had a great New Year so far. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, hit that bell if you want to see more of my videos. Who wouldn't? And um, if you want to follow along, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, we need more mushroom people out there. I do ask that you maybe add your own spins to it so it's not exactly like mine. Anyway, um, goodbye.